Well, hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Bionic Cold Classic review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on the Walkman and Kanye Rock set from 2001. So, uh, this is the only one that I have the box entry for. Uh, so, on the front of these old time box, you can see there's silver border, which they used for a lot of Technic sets back in the day. You can see the logo, the names, nine and up, and also the rusted Tahu mask with the uh, thing uh, with the island of Mandui in there. Set number 8538. Then picture of the two about facing each other, Lego Technic logos, and highlight of the rusted Tahu mask, which of course is included here. And a little thing with each of the early Rocky sets is have it and also talk about to uh, face it you see quite unique the boxes were back then and on the back you see oh, you see lego just imagine slogan or well older look saying that they did as well as for a lot of you historians would know the really old saying of theirs only the best is good enough anyways and then See about how the feature works and the combiner model of Kuma Nui and also the old time website. And yeah. And on to the two instruction booklets. You see the same pictures on the front and everything with Mwakas. Just the final steps. And Kane Raw's a really thick one, as you can tell. Since it's the second one, it has all the combiner model instructions, but on the back of which, see, add for all the Toa sets and all the Turaga sets and all the Rahis of 2001, and also some old-time computer game of theirs, which, which I hear probably didn't get put out, at least at this at the time of this recording, they might be redoing it for some other websites and whatnot. If that's true, tell in the comments. And then some other Technic sets from back then. And then list of all the masks to collect of both the Toa and Turaga ones. Then find the power and 72 plus, which means, which is probably the mask of time, which they probably means ones that they had around at the time, at least until in 2004 when they put them out with some Vaki sets. It's because of the uh, Legends of Metro Nui movie. And then uh, the main picture of Kuma Nui and the final steps. And also included with it is this little advertisement uh, poster insert with, with the older Star Wars Technic sets, which I reviewed previously on Throwback Thursday, and all the uh, Toamata sets from then and Mindstorms, Vision Command, whatever that is, and then LEGO Technic 2001, and some older sets from them. And on the back, some more of them. And then most of, and all the sets again. So, for the main set itself, starting out with Mwaka. Yeah. Like, so, kind of a odd design to it, but you know, it's what they were kind of going for. So I like, see color scheme is mainly black and darkish gray, but mostly yellow and a couple accents of silver. Well, probably one of the only times they've ever included silver in the sets, well, until the 2002 Toa Nuva and all. And as for the lower back part, I would some like tread triangle, kind of like the Tara Kappas, but However, it's just kind of loosely there. As one complaint is, if you like put it down, they just fling up like that, which is kind of annoying. And moving farther up, you see some like old Technic panels in yellow, which good for mock making, as well as these tubings as well, and compare of golly mata hooks, but in yellow, fitting for the color scheme and whatnot. The little thing that might catch your eye is the rare masks included on this one. So like, which are the uh, original Tahumata masks, but 
all gray with marks of brown, but they make look rusted and all. Which some use them on the Makuta Matoran form from then. And as for the head area, as the Kai only built it and has a roller rider headpiece, but as a nose. And also slicer or throwback feet, but in yellow, giving little cat ears. But as the main feature, which is that if you push here, when you hold it down firm, then it would just eject yeah, out, opens the door, and then snaps. Of course, oh, that, how cool that. And once again, have the bands in yellow and white, because the older blackish ones tend to break apart easily over time. The source, how cool is that? And you wonder what these arrows here are for, or for to point out where the masks to go, to where the masks are. So the other feature is that if you pull it out, and it just falls right down. Also put out my rubber bands to make it fall out. But of course, if it's not there, then it would just fall out easily. So even though in Eli J. Brony's video, he did make some modifications to this set to prevent that from falling out. Probably so he can keep it on display purposes and yeah. And about it with him. And down to Kaney Ra. Like, I see, just same stuff, same things, but of course, in red rather than yellow. But also has the Robo Rider head pieces, but as hooves. For the hooves instead of claws, and... And what's interesting is the only time they've ever used these Lyser Throbot head piece, but as a nose. So, which kind of interesting to hear. And also got the uh, golly mata hooks in red, and they're also acting as horns. So, and also compared to Mwaku's mask, but instead it's the like Taragava Kama Mac or Maku's mask in black. Probably not so much rare, but you know, but of which was exclusive to this set. If you had this, then you're lucky to have all these masks. And basically, about how it is that Uwak is a tiger, and Kaney Ron is a bull. So the tiger and the bull, which one guy called them. And so for the actual feature is that it's kind of a Rock'em Sock'em kind of idea, which all the Rahis were kind of going for. So like, the masks out and whatnot. Like, yeah. Although it's kind of hard to do with this one. Although it makes them end up all jumbled up and all. What's so kind of a mess it is. Well, not as much as the other ones kind of do. What else is there much else to say? Well, probably not much, but yeah. And of course, if you remember in some of the old uh, Flash videos, which had Waka here, were Kopaka, of which made holographic multiples of him, and then suddenly he which bites at it, and then they all strike it, and he falls down to it, of which wasn't a pretty good one. And so, like. But of course, he can't camouflage in snow, also, well, so he got spotted pretty quickly. And so now, on to the final work on this set. So, overall, this is which a pretty cool set of 2001. Whoops. Like, get plenty of nice pieces and a couple of unique masks to this set. And also. An interesting, uh, uh, hit it kind of hit the mask feature. So if you like, still have this set from back then. Well, I hope you have some good times uh, with them. And if you haven't, well, 
that's all right. And if you can still are able to get this at like eBay Bricklink, whatever, and yeah, good luck. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.